Stop number six in the Casual GTX Cup Series brings us to Bristol, Tennessee for the running of the the Food City 500. You want 50 laps of short track madness? You got it. And it's going to be down and dirty and rough and tough as we see here at Bristol, Tennessee. Let's see. On the pole, Dustin Sloniker's first pole of the season. Alongside of him, Ben Ward. Drivers, start your engines. Man, giving the fire the engines. Row two, Chris Dalton and Dougie Shears. Row three, has Ty Sheets and Justin Perry. Row four, Barney Ward and just and John Acosta. Row five, Charles Jackson and Max Skinner. Row six, has Dalton Day and Joey Krause. Row seven, Ann Batson and Sophie Dillon. Row eight, Keith Batson and Zed Weinstein. And the green flag waves, and here we go at Bristol, Tennessee. And boy, what a start Dustin Sloniker got. He took off like John Force on that start, buddy. But look at Chris Dalton, our season one winner here at Bristol, and he's on the he's all over the back bumper. Sloniker and Dalton. And Sloniker taking the first lead here in the first lap of the race here. Ben Ward caught up on a high side, gets passed by his brother Barney Ward, and then Charles Jackson. Sloniker gets a little... Dougie Shears moving up in the third position. Ty Sheets right there. Barney Ward moving up in the number five position now in car 75. Charles Jackson right there. Our Darlington winner, Sophie Dillon. Oh, and Jack Richards, car number five. He's crashed. As the yellow flag waves first time here at Bristol. Didn't take long for the action to get going here. And uh, let's see, I think I see it. I think I saw what happened too. Isaac Smith almost got turned right there by Eric Burton. Now watch Jack Richards. He's on the inside of Dolan Poteen and, and and the 94 of Alex Tanker. And Richards apparently he. <laughs> He got hooked by Dylan Poteet in the 22 right there, and then yeah, Alex Tanker he goes right into him. Jasmine Acosta did some heads up driving, trying to miss that wreck, and she does. As a matter of fact, Tanker he gets a little sideways right there. Jack Richards uh, bunny hops just a little bit. Pace car goes right by him. <laughs> no harm, no foul for Jack Richards, and that's gonna still put him in the back of the field. So no harm, no foul. The lead still belongs to Dustin Sloniker here at Bristol Motor Speedway. As the green flag waves for uh, again here at Bristol, Tennessee, as we are as the green flag flies from our first caution, lap number nine here at Bristol. Eight laps down, 42 left in the books. And here comes Chris Darton on the inside for the lead here at Bristol, and Sloniker is going to shut the door on him. And Dalton said, now wait a minute here. <laughs> Track position, of course, all important here at Bristol. As we've seen a few times here, but we've seen also lap cars kind of be right in the way in the final laps of the race and almost cost the driver almost cost driver's victory here. Of course, the last lap time we were at Bristol. Lap car almost held up Colin Cropley and almost cost him a shot at the win here in the night race. Or same thing almost happened to Dylan Pote as well in season three with him and Aaron Reed. Boy, Chris Dalton giving Dustin Sloniker all he can handle for the number one position. Dougie Shears, he's watching all this in the 43 car in the third position. Ty Sheets running in fourth spot right now. Taking through the field here, Charles Jackson, Sophie Dillon running sixth position, John Acosta, Dalton Day running in seventh and eighth position right now. He needs a he needs a run good run here. Number 17, Tide Chevrolet, a new sponsor for the season. Joey Krause in the 14 car. He's running his ninth. Keith Batson in tenth. Justin Perry, 
Kurt Mordenick, Cameron Gilson running in 13th. Sean Hanley in 14th position. 15th right now is Racer DSM. Adrian Becker, Samuel Mills, Ben Ward running in 18th position. And Batson 19th. Barney Ward's dropping back to 20th. So they're in front of the 24th, Aaron Williams. Lead still being held by Dustin Sloniker in number 66 car. 18 laps down in the books here. And 32 left to go. Dunlop Pratt on the inside of Zed Weinstein. Zed Weinstein's season has not been, just not been good. Of course, the 70 car, they change a scheme this season. Kind of wishes he had his old car back, though. Dead last running right now is where he's at. Jack Richards, Ryan Acosta, he's right up, uh, down there in the 34. Max Skinner, Isaac Smith, Eric Burton, Trent Dunham in 30th. The Acosta's right together, Jasmine in the 6, and, jo and Justin in the 9. Alex Tanker, Seth Cole, Don Poteet. Ryan Cooper, they're right there together. Brad Hardy, Breston Plord in the 18. Aaron Williams in the 24. Barney Ward in the 75. Ann Batson in the 3. Meanwhile, uh, Chris Dalton, he's kind of wore his car out, though. Justin Slaughter's just absolutely annihilating this field right now here at Bristol. Kind of been a boring race here so far, guys. Sorry about this. Run down through the field. Dustin Sloniker is still leading the field here at uh, Bristol, Tennessee. So he's led all the way here today so far. We've been saying though, track position has been important here at Bristol, and I think so far it's been the case as you've been watching this event here. Whole field in single file formation. from the copter cam, see how far Dustin Slonker is before he gets a lap car. Zed Weinstein going into turn number one, Dustin Sloniker going into turn number one. 
second right now. Comes out of turn number two. Zed Weinstein is going into the third turn. So, so Slager about a full straightaway uh, behind a lap car. So. So, Slonaker may be in good shape of not catching a lap car. Of course, Steve, he can get his very first win in the series, so we'll see what happens here. Chris Dalton hanging on second position right now. Third is the car of Dougie Shears. Fourth is Ty Sheets. Fifth is Charles Jackson. Soapy Dillon running in second position. Seventh is John Acosta. Eighth, Dalton Day. If Dalton can hold on to this finish, he'll be his first ever top ten of the season. And it's the kind of a, and hopefully it's a morale boost he's looking for. Joey Krause running in ninth position. Keith Batson in tenth. He's still be another top ten for him if he can hold on. Got Justin Perry right behind him in the 90 car. He runs 11th, and 12th is Kurt Mordenick, 13th Cameron Gilson, Sean Hanley running 14th. Hanley having a pretty good, having pretty, having a pretty solid run here in the Pennzoil Pontiac 1991 model Pontiac Grand Prix body car. Cameron Gilson's Ford Thunderbird is a 1990 model. Driving for Bud Moore to Motorcraft Ford. Well, I tell you, Keith Benson all over that back bumper and Joey Krause, our Atlanta winner. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dustin Sloniker has six laps remaining in the race now, so you look again, as we once again look through the copter cam. Laps to go now. Zed Weinstein trying the inside, or actually he pushes Dunlap Proud on the inside of Jack Richards in the five car. Weinstein now goes by him. Richards having a very rough day. He caused the only caution of the race. Runs in 37 position right now. His car just way off course. So his last lap is this time by. Richard Richards at 120.725. Dustin Sloniker at 125.873. So yeah, yeah. But meanwhile, Dustin Sloniker has two laps remaining in the race here in Bristol, Tennessee. He probably won't have to worry about no John Dawson, Michael Dawson deal as we saw in season four. But I don't think we have, we haven't had the cautions like we had in season four though in this series in Bristol. So. Out of turn number four, he comes. Dustin Slonker sees the white flag. He has one lap remaining in the race of the here at Bristol. Just a, about a quarter of a mile, about a quarter of a mile away now from the victory at the Food City 500. He's led from start to finish. Dustin Slonker out of turn number four leads every lap here today. All 50 of them at Bristol, and he wins today. And as Dustin Slonker wins the Food City 500, second to Chris Darton, third Dougie Shears, fourth Ty Sheets. Bit the Charles Jackson, Sophie Dillon, good run for her sixth position. John Acosta, seventh, Dalton Day, eighth, ninth, Joey Krause, and Keith Batson comes home in tenth position. So, average speed of race 106.513. There's the finishing order here. Dustin Sloniker wins the race. Chris Dalton, second, third, Dougie Shears, Ty Sheets, Jack, and Charles Jackson. Sophie Dillon, John Acosta, Dalton Day, Joey Krause, Keith Batson, a 10th place runner, Justin Perry, 11th, Kurt Mordenick, 12th, Cameron Gilson, 13th, Sean Henley finishes 14th and 15th to, to Racer DSM, Adrian Becker, Samuel Mills, Ben Ward, and Batson in 19th, and Barney Ward finishes in 20th position. All the way down to Jasmine Acosta in 28th position, not a good run for her. Don Pochi, another subpar 25th. And Jack Richards, a 
bad run for him in 37th position. Zed Weinstein, way down in the order. Ryan Acosta, everybody. A lot of the guys, a lot of the top contenders having subpar seasons so far. So. So a big win here today for Dustin Sloniker, car 66 to 1990, Dick Trickle Pontiac. Wins the race here today at Bristol, Tennessee, and on the points right now, Joey Krause is the lead over John Acosta, Brad Hardy, Sophie Dillon at the fourth, Dunlap Prad, Seth Cole, Ty Sheets, Cameron Gilson, Charles Jackson, and Ian Batson in the top ten in the points chase, and there's the rest of your order all the way down to Preston Plord in the 20th position right now after six to 40 events. And there's where the rest of you are running right now. So, next race in the tour will be at Texas Motor Speedway, the Samsung Mobile 500. Don't miss it.